All right, let's kick off Ask Halftime with a video question for you, Jenny. Let's watch. Dave from New York, along with the investment committee behind me, and we are debating the merits of AT&T. Wondering if you think the stock is going to continue this recent rally or if it's just going to keep going down, down, down. Thanks very much. Apropos for the background, Jenny, because AT&T has been a dog been a in dog. 2021. <laughs> What's going to happen in 2022? <laughs> so, I, think, I think we've seen the bottom in AT&T. I think what pushed it down from higher 20s to 22 and change was tax loss selling. That's over with. We're getting closer to the Warner Media spinoff. We're seeing analysts start to change their tune. So I think that the momentum is starting to change in this. And everybody hates the management team. But the bottom line is this is a company with really, really valuable assets and a really strong customer base that generates huge free cash flow. So there's value there. It's trading at eight times earnings with an eight and change percent dividend yield. Yes, they're going to cut that dividend next summer after the Warner Media spinoff, but it should still be 5%-ish plus maybe. So I think the bottom's in. And by the way, I don't think the rally is going to okay. be anything great. Our estimates is that maybe it should be a mid 30 stock. Okay, Jason, next one for you. Uh, we go international for you. Holger in Germany says, my portfolio has been mainly growth, large cap tech, healthcare staples and defensive. So what are your top three cyclical names that I can balance my portfolio into 2022? Yeah, it's a good question. I'm going to go energy here. I really like Chevron is the first one fully graded. Full integrated oil company, four and a half percent yield. Obviously, it's had a great year, um, but they've they've done really great job in cost containment and and with commodities moderately growing. Uh, I think this name will stand to benefit from that. The other one is Conoco Phillips. Conoco is up really really great year, up 82 percent this year, two and a half percent yield. Uh, but they had a, a very nicely accretive deal with the Delaware Basin, 225 thousand acres that they acquired, I think they'll, that will kind of be a catalyst for strength going forward. So Conoco and Chevron are the two for me. All right, Jay, it's good stuff. Thank you. All right, Weiss, let's watch this. Hey, F time. Dan in Minneapolis. Love the show. Question for Steve Weiss. Uh, ACLS, small chip play. Curious as to your thoughts. Monster winner this year, Weiss. You own it. It's up 150%. Now what? Yeah, I wish I owned it for the entire time, but I don't. It's a relatively new position over the last couple of months. Look, they're in a very unique space. The company's been somewhat reformed and has a critical technology, which is ION, and they basically make chips more efficient. And they're in all the latest technologies, and you'll see more and more of it. So I like I'm saying there, it's cheap. Earnings are going to grow by about 50% next year. You saw a big uptick in, in revenues this year as well. I think that'll continue next year. So, so I'm staying there. And I'd like to congratulate Farmer Jim and Pete on that cameo in Jenny's question. I, I didn't expect to see them today. <laughs> All right, lastly, <laughs> uh, it's for Dr. J. For Larry in South Carolina, Valet has had a tough three months. What do you do now? Buy, sell, hold, Doc. You definitely buy that one, Scott. Um, Jimmy talked about Cliff just a couple days ago when we were on together. And this one in that same sort of space, I want to own Vale, um, Freeport, and Cliff into this 2022 that I think will be good for all three. 